Okay, welcome to uh, my desktop. So we went ahead and uh, we I plugged in my two terabyte drive, which is right here. So let's open that up. Let's have a look. And I made a folder. You know, first thing you want to do is you want to make like you know a folder, and you know, you just go to new folder. Then you go to like editing. But just to save us time, I already went ahead and made the folder, so we'll lose that. Turn on the volume here a little bit. So we'll go in here, and in this folder, there's this other folder called Personal Power from a workshop that we did uh, earlier this earlier last year. We have the full quick time in there, and then we have the footages, the clips that was used to that will that I'll show you how to make a timeline with. So we'll get out of there. So what we want to do is we want to go to our editing software. It all depends on which ones we have. Some people Final Cut, but for this particular one, we're going to navigate and show you Adobe Premiere CS6. So I'll have a I'll go in here, open that up. Go ahead and open. As you can see, the screen is now rendering and opening up. So the first things first was creating a folder for the project. Then we transferred the files into the folder. So this screen will come up. We'll go to New Project. Uh, it's really important to set these location and the scratch this to the proper destination which is the folder that we created so we'll go back here into our hard drive go a little down and edit the tutorial 101 so we'll want to save it to this folder and we'll go to choose so as you can see right here editing tutorial 101 now we'll want to go ahead and do that for every single one so it's already locked onto the folder so we'll just continue to choose this all the way down this will make sure that all files are going into their proper places so that way you don't have anything happen, so we'll call it personal power. Hit OK. We'll call the sequence. Same thing. Personal power 101. So there's many different settings. So I'll just leave it at this right now. 1080p 24, working with high definition, so HD. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. And boom, here we come up. So now that, hide that for a bit. So now that we're in the editing software, what we'll want to do is save the project. So let's go ahead and save it. So click on here, go here, and we'll save. Project save. So it keeps saving back to, back to that thing. If we go here and we go to Premiere Pro, then we hide Premiere Pro, and we go back into our folder, editing tutorial 101. So right here is that that file for this specific project in the editing software. So now that we know it's there, we'll close this, go back to Premiere Pro, and we'll start the, the fun process. Now the first thing you want to do is go to your project. So right here is the sequence. Let's create a couple bins. I like to do this all the time. I'll create a couple bins. One for audio. A bin for the footage a bin for title cards if we end up using them and sometimes I'll make another bin just for the sequence itself so we'll take the circuits and I'll you know, put it in its own bin so we have no so we know where everything is minimize as much as possible so now that we 
created the bins. The next thing we'll want to do is import the footage into the, the footage folder. So I double clicked it. Now we're in here. So now we're going to go control left mouse click and we're going to import. So we'll find this. See, it brings us right to our editing tutorial 101 folder. So what we'll do is we'll go into personal power. Then we'll go into the footage folder, which we created to separate, to isolate the clips. And here we find 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 clips from the day that we went to shoot. So I'll select all these clips. Import. Boom. So now they're imported. Let's close this. So let's have a look at clip number clip number 26 dot move. Double click that and boom. Up comes our folder. And if we hit spacebar. We can see the timeline here. The numbers and as it goes across how long that clip is. Hit spacebar again if we need to. We can scrum through it fairly easy. Maybe we wanna go to this spot where she is at, where she's done asking the question, and uh, and here's an in, and here's an out. These are two important. Uh, Two important pieces of uh, tools within the editing software. When you put an in, it marks the in point where you'll pick up that video. And if you scrub a little down, you'll put an out point towards that video. So it isolates the video from the rest of the video that you don't want. So that is great. Another thing we can, and then after once you isolated your your video, you could click here, click the clip, drag it down to this is called the timeline. We'll keep it at the existing settings, and boom! Now we have this isolated clip on the timeline. Uh, being able to see it here, this is the canvas. It works in. Uh, conjunction with the timeline so this is where you will build the sequence so if you want to go to the next one so her if she's our next interview interviewee once again we'll put a an end point um honey i have a question let her talk <coughs> excuse me and we'll put an out point, like all, like so. And we'll just drag it and put it down here. Boom. And as you see, it goes from clip to clip. As we build uh, more. Now I'm going to go ahead, I already made it the whole sequence just to save us time. So we'll, we'll go to import, go back to this folder. Uh, personal power. So we'll take the already made quick time sequence built a little bit ahead of time and we'll open it up. Okay, so yeah, we'll hit the quick time, throw it down on the timeline, and you can see how the process is. So, just to show you for reference, we started off with this shot of them drumming. So, 
what we'll do is we'll go into the footage folder and we'll look we'll look for that. First let's let's delete this. Move this over a bit. So first shot we want is this drumming. It looks nice. It's a good way to open up the the piece. So here's that. Play it. Go a little ahead to where they're drumming. So in point Stop right there, put an out point, drag this clip down on the timeline. So that's our first clip that will start in the timeline. So the next clip for reference. So we'll jump right to Jackie Antoine and what she has to say. Let's see what she has to say. Spirit and it's it catches like so she's talking about spirit and talking about personal empowerment. So we can't find that clip, so what we'll do is we'll just start with this lady. But I wanted to know, what is personal power to you? Interview asks, what is personal power to you after she's done? We'll put the in point just before her response. In point, let it play personal out. Personal power to me is being part of the community. And the best part for me is the drumming and singing. And teaching and being part of the drumming and singing, knowing to sing our songs, learning the clan song, <laughs> uh, because I grew up as part of the Philly Jack residential school thingy, so I didn't have any of my language, but I know how to sing in my language. So that's pretty, uh, the pretty good response to the question so we'll end it right there go back to the timeline drag this down so it runs right after the the part where this girl is where these two girls are singing so let's, let's just play this back one more time and uh yeah just <laughs> Personal power to me is being. And she comes up, so one thing that I like to do, especially in moments like this, is let's unlink the clips, the audio, just drag this down a bit. So it's on this next level here, audio three and four. You can see the waveforms, so what I want to do is like expand this out a bit. It sounds really nice. Then we'll just go to the P, the pen tool, P. And with the pen tool, you can do is you can put these little nodes on the waveform to control the amount of audio levels. So what we we'll want to do is well, we'll just drag this down to like twenty minus twenty two, just for reference. So. When you when you play back, personal power to me and you is get that being still part of underneath. the underneath. Still quite predominant, so we'll go back to the selection tool. Maybe just raise up her levels, the audios of the woman that's speaking in the interview, to maybe like four. Four 
that sounds good. Personal power to me is being part of the community and the best part for me is the drumming and singing. Um, so as you can see, it sounds a lot better than just having the audio from the drumming stop and going right into her to her uh, her interview response. One thing about the audio waveforms, if you look over here, if you look over here, what you want to do is you want to keep them fluctuating between 6 and 12 would be the safe range. If it goes into the red, then that means your audio is peaking and it's it will drown out and it's not good for uh, for your video. So, um, just, you can the see The best part for me is the drumming. So it is kind of Kind of too loud right now, so I'm going to bring that back a bit. And then singing. Um, teaching. Um, so yeah, there you go. So, B-roll is another thing. B-roll is cover roll over the interviewer. Right, so. yeah, to say. Some nice soft motion. So there's one example. Another Good. example would be. Right here. So maybe if you want to put it in mark. Then zoom in, kind of. <laughs> so we'll put an out mark here. But this time we won't take uh, the audio. We'll click right here, drag video only, drag audio only. So right now what we'll do is we'll just drag the audio or the video only, and we'll place it over the interview clip. So this is what the B-roll looks like. Play it. Is that drumming and singing? Um, teaching, um, being part of the drumming and singing, knowing. And that's an example of B-roll, or also known as cover roll, to uh, kind of give your your uh, video more uh, visual aesthetic for the viewer to look at, rather than just having to uh, to view your subject in your interview the whole time. It just adds a lot more uh, production value and makes it much more pleasable to watch. Another thing, what I'll do is I'll show you text. So what we want to do, you go up here to title, hit title, new title, default still, title, card we'll call it, woman, uh, number one, she's the first woman, oh this is okay, hit okay, this pops up, so what we want to do is go to this type tool, Take the type tool, drag, and we'll want to do it and we'll call her uh, Becky. Becky Red Sky. I don't think it's her real name, but we'll just use that for uh, an example. Bring it down here, highlight it, and you could always look at other uh, texts around. If you want to play around with that, then you can go in here and it's more advanced if you want to, you know, change the color of the text and vice versa. So, what we'll do is, you know, so there's Becky Red Sky. So, I'm going to use Impact just because it's bold. Boom. Place it in the lower thirds. So it's kind of it's gray. You can you can't really see the 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 text. So let's change the color of that. I highlight it. Go to here. It says color gray. Let's make it like uh, reddish black. Hit OK, and boom, pops out a lot more. You can also put a shadow to make it pop even more. So now we can actually see her name kind of pop up. Looks a lot better. So we'll uh, close this. Close this off, then we'll go down here. This is the text tool. Take it, put it on the timeline, right beside the B roll. 
so that way when we play back my power to me is being part of the community yeah. and the best part for me is the drumming and singing um, so once you've uh created your entire sequence like the one over here uh what you want to do is you want to you want to render out uh, the, the video file so like we'll go let's zoom here and we'll go option kind of zoom out a bit this is your workspace so we're going to take this here drag it all the way down to the end of our clip right here and right over here so what we want to do is Primarily, what I usually do, I always have a habit of just highlighting all my clips. Then we'll go up to Sequence. Then we'll go Render Effects in Work Area. As you can see, it's now rendering all 1,390 frames, and the time would take one minute, so just bear with me. I'll put on a time lapse or something in the post. And as soon as it's done rendering, it'll automatically play back right from the start of the timeline, which I think is really cool. So if you go away and you don't want to sit here for the whole entire time, especially if you're rendering a lot larger projects, you definitely don't want to be sitting here the whole time while that happens. But that 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 option will allow you to hear it. So you'll know that it's all rendered when everything here is in green. So this whole, all this stuff right in here in between this, these two points is now all rendered and good to export. So what we're going to do for export, we want to put our, our uh, videos on Dropbox or YouTube. We'll go here, File, go down, Export, Export Media click on that so we want to look at the settings here so what we're looking for uh, for, for uh, high quality uh, formats to upload to uh, YouTube you know YouTube likes quick times it doesn't like this we're not shooting digital video well we kind of are so what we'll do anyway is we'll go HD 720, 24 frames, H264. H264 is uh, one of the most native quality uh, uh, formats that YouTube really likes. So we'll click on that. Then we'll go to here, the output name, personal power. You can put it to the desktop, but for our sake of just understanding where everything is, we'll go back into our folder. And we'll go to Editing Tutorial 101, Personal Power 101, leave it at that. You can name it whatever you want. And we'll just save it to that folder. Now its destination is to that folder. Everything else here seems good. You don't want to mess around with none of this. You could add filters and all this stuff, but that's a little bit more advanced and we won't go into that. So. All of this right here is what will be rendered and exported out. So we'll go ahead to export. It is now encoding and the estimated time, about a minute. So we'll just wait patiently. Once again, if you were uh, doing a much larger project, you probably wouldn't stay here for the whole entire export time.
go, 100%. So we're going to go ahead and hide Premiere Pro. And we're going to go into, back to our folder, editing tutorial 101. And boom, right here, double click on it. Here is the video that we just created. And so now it's everything looks like it's there. I'm just going to go ahead and close that. So now let's go into our, our uh, internet browser. Right now I'm using Chrome. So we'll go into Chrome, get off my Facebook, and then we'll go to your YouTube page. So here's mine. As you can see, this Indigenous Youth Wellness video contest is on the screen. So what we want to do in order to upload that video, once you're logged into your, uh, your YouTube account, go to Upload. Brings you here. So what you want to do, you have, the op you have your privacy options, either public, unlisted, or private. Uh, for this sake, we'll just keep it public. I know we'll keep it unlisted just because. And when it's unlisted, only people with your link could uh, actually see that that specific uh, video that you're uploading. So, so we'll select files. But if you want everybody to see it public, if you only want clients or people, personnel, specific people unlisted, and send them the link. But yeah, we'll just keep it unlisted for right now. So we'll go to here, select files, upload, hit this button. And here we are. So we'll go to our two terabyte and we'll look for the edit tutorial 101, which is right here. And boom, right here is this personal power 101 move. Go down, hit open. And yeah, and then we wait. It says about two minutes remaining to upload video. And here at this point you could change it, you know, you could rename it, you can add a description, you know, the women of the health center wanted to do a video to empower each other. You can write whatever one. I'm just blabbering on here. So, so about two more minutes, 35%, and the video will be live at this link. And then, yeah, so now you're uploading and play the baiting game once again. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. Oh, of course. Now it's processing. Uploading and processing. So just go ahead and see if it's see if that one's available. Let me try it back in thirty seconds. Okay. See, oh, sixty-one percent. 
percent. There you go. Upload complete. The video will be live at the link. Go to the link. There you have it. So there you have it. We went from uh, just the basics of, you know, bringing in the folders, the clips, making the sequence, adding some text, adding some B-roll, and, you know, showing you the ins and outs of how to isolate clips and uh, render and export for... Uh, for YouTube and having the ability to share your videos. So yeah, just a basic 101 tutorial of like how to how to edit with from your pro and uh, we hope that helps you out. So Shmigwitch.